So what am I doing? Oh, you know, nothing. Just hanging out in George Washington's vegetable garden. What makes your garden grow? Water and sunshine. What makes your spirit grow? Knowing that should be mine. Tater bug, tater bug. So what am I doing? Oh, you know, nothing. Just hanging out in George Washington's vegetable garden, taking notes. Look at how they've got the grapevines over in this bed. Can't really see what they're growing, but uh, down here they've got greens and thyme. Uh, they've got some beautiful pepper plants. There's herbs that border all the gardens. It is gorgeous. So we're taking notes. I would love to do a colonial style garden at home. Um, I see the gardener over there. If I can come up with some good questions, I might ask him. But yeah, I love how it's just all cut out and it's just so beautiful. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. You need to go video. You need to go talk to the gardener. If I have a good question, I will. Look at that. <laughs> Be like security find you down there <laughs> gardening. <laughs> You're like, but I'm in my element. Yeah. I love it. I love how it's all cut out and oh, it's just so pretty. Can we do this at home? Um, this will take a lot of work and a lot of room. Look at this. Like onions or something. Oh yeah, you can smell them too. Mm -hmm. it smells really, really good. We got, look at the tomatoes. Beautiful. Surprised they're still what producing. What are those? Those look like pepper plants. Man, look at the peppers. See how they got the fruit trees cut so they'll grow out. That's a technique. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's French. But it's so you can grow them out like that instead of. This is cool. Oh, this is laid out really nice. It is. Look at all those red peppers. And we've got green peppers Look at all over those there. peppers. Ooh, that looks like paragon. Some of it, they leave it for overgrowth, like that. Uh -huh. Her. Some of it they take to the uh, food court and cut up the spices, using it in the food, and then they have a, uh, a shelter. They take some of the cabbages, heads of cabbage too. Uh huh. And that's it. That's awesome. Taking notes. Look at this. I know. That's so pretty. Look at that. How pretty that is. We're at. We've got marigolds. Um, these are the seed beds. George Washington thought it was very important that farmers harvest their own seeds. Or George Washington felt that it was very important that farmers save their own seeds. I've noticed that all of your gardens are weed free. So do you all do that by hand or do you, how do you keep the weeds out? Uh, we do most of it by hand. Um, around the vegetables especially, we do by hand. Uh, I will use a little bit of a Roundup in the nursery beds where uh -huh. I'm not growing vegetables. Okay. Um, but for the most part, we use a lot, we use scuffle hose um, or hula hoe, mm -hmm. depending on what you know Is that like a push pull? 
Uh, it's actually it's also known as a stirrup hoe. It's okay. got like a like a horse's stirrup. Yeah. And I just pull it, but you can push pull. Okay. Um, but as much time as we spend doing it, it really starts to hurt your back if you do it both ways. So. Right. Right. So yeah, that and a lot of hand weeding. Wow. Yeah. And so, then, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna also <laughs> ask, um, uh, what you harvest? Does that go to the restaurant yes, or all of it does? Yeah, we try to get as much to the restaurant as possible. Um, they don't want all of everything. Sometimes the quality isn't as high as, they, as people expect these days. Right. Um, so things like the onions, if they don't want all the onions when they're ready, we'll take them to a food bank. Oh, that's great. Yep. That's really awesome. Well, very cool. Yeah. Um, and then like, I don't know, do you implement any of the colonial forms of gardening or like uh, we try to recreate it so um things like like we'll grow our squash on mounds mm -hmm. uh things that we know they did um you know we do a lot of the hand weeding so like these gardens are pretty pretty similar to the way they would have kept them mm -hmm. um but we can use modern equipment there's only six of us taking care of oh, wow. this garden the other two gardens and all the landscapes That's so impressive. so we do have to use power equipment once in a while yeah, we do have to I would use imagine. chemicals yeah. once in a while yeah with it starting to get cold mm -hmm. how how long will some of these gardens produce i know you're planting some winter crops but uh... so um this cabbage the reddish cabbage is january king um, that can go right through the winter, be harvested in the spring, depending on how cold it gets. Here in Virginia, it's, we're kind of right on the edge. Sometimes we get cold weather, sometimes we have very warm winters. Mm -hmm. So um, things like these onions, they should pull through to the spring. Um, that's normally when you would harvest them. Um, the kale should go through, the leeks should go through. Uh, the things like the artichokes, those are perennial, so they'll die down. Um, and the sweet potatoes will pull uh, right before the first frost. Okay. So there will still be a lot in this garden. Things like um, kale and spinach, I think, are good down to like five degrees. Right. So okay. that's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. How long have you been working here? I've been here almost 10 years. Really? Yep. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I know I've been taking notes. We, we just moved and so we're, uh, you know, trying to get ideas of how we're going to set up at the new house and yeah and i just i love this everything is just beautiful and it's been a treat to walk through here and see what you all have so I'm glad you guys are enjoying it you couldn't yeah. pick a better day oh, oh yeah. yeah yeah i was worried it'd be too cold but i'm kind of starting to sweat now <laughs> perfect <laughs> thank yeah. you very much thank you guys have a good one um actually we believe that the peanuts that uh george washington would have had well his slaves would have had are more of a north carolina peanut. Oh, really? So that's what those are. Those are Carolina Valencias, I think. Okay. Yeah, we live in Kentucky and we grow Tennessee Reds at our house. We so. grew Tennessee Reds last year. They did really well. Did it? Yeah. So I was really happy with them, but they think those are more historically accurate, so we switched to those. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's a haunting sound. That's got like a muffled drum, and it's uh, got a different tune to it. But on happier notes, music was used for birthdays, weddings, celebrations. Here's a fun little trivia question for you. Uh, General Washington's wedding date. He was married around Christmas time. He was married on the 12th day of Christmas. What is the actual date for the 12th day of Christmas? The 17th. So you. 
No, it's actually, it's tricky. I, I learned this when I got here, by the way, in all fairness. Uh, December 25th mm -hmm. is focused on family, faith, fasting, and prayer. You start counting 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Three Kings Day, Three Epiphany, oh. Piafra. That's the 12th day of Christmas. That's when people usually take the Christmas trees down and yeah. stuff like that. That's, that's when he was married. On the, uh, he also was a man of faith and prayer. Now, he, was, he wasn't uh, in your face. He wasn't super bold about his faith. Uh, but he did journal and he wrote things down and he actually wrote a prayer to the young 13 governors. You can Google Washington's prayer for the nation. He was a man of prayer. He just wasn't super uh, public about evangelist about it. He was right. just he was right. a, yeah. in Washington prayer before it. every battle. Yes, yeah. Kneeling in front of yeah, his yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's uh, really neat. So he he loved music. He he loved uh, dancing. He loved entertaining, socializing. He loved traveling. He he would make it to all original thirteen colonies. And uh, travel was much different than it is now. I like to tell, yeah, I like to tell the young ones when they come in. Uh, Kentucky, bus ride? Uh, Ten. So for every hour you're in the car, think about a day's okay. journey by horse and carriage, if not or more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, crossing rivers, that would prolong it. Mm -hmm. So that could easily have been a, almost a two-week journey. Mm -hmm. Are we there yet? <laughs> there yet? <laughs> no. Only five more days. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But he would be greeted along the way with musicians uh, playing ceremonial music. You know, the first president's song was actually something called Hail Columbia. Now that's the vice president's song. It sounded like this. So yeah, that's the actual first song there. Uh, when the Queen came, there songs we were playing, there songs we would not play. <laughs> Which song wouldn't we play, and why? Something French. Yankee Doodle. <laughs> 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 no, no, not French. But we wouldn't play this. Oh no! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Yankee. That would be. That would in be. In her face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be but the other side of Yankee Doodle is they actually used it to tease us first. You know, it, it, it wasn't a friendly song. We flipped it on them, yeah. but uh, Yankee Doodle slang term could be used derogatively, sarcastically. They were definitely not being kind using it. Came to town riding on a pony. We should have been riding on a horse. horse right. uh, stuck a feather in the sack, all the macaroni. They had various little ways of identifying from horse, shamrocks, different things. Um, but the macaroni thing was the kick kicker. That was a fancy group, a club of men that dressed effeminate, fashionable. So they were saying, you just got to stick a feather in your head thinking macaroni, you know? Uh, so they were calling us girly men going to town riding on ponies. The American words to Yankee Doodle, have you ever heard those? I don't know. There are American words. Mm -hmm. And there was General Washington upon a charging stallion, giving <laughs> orders to his men, there must have been a million. Father and I went down to camp along with Captain Gooding. There we saw the men and boys with thick and safety pudding. Now we fight for way all day and play on cornstalk fiddles, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. yada. <laughs> I can't remember all the words. Why don't yeah. they teach us the American I version? Know. <laughs> I know. I want to write my congressman. <laughs> what makes your garden grow? Water and sunshine. Spirit grows, knowing that she'll be mine.